Sisters. They're all trying to get in the top 15 to make their way to Biloxi, Mississippi and make a run for over $2 million. Yes, it, it turned out just perfect right now. Got wet all day today, but it's quit for us tonight, so it's a wonderful thing. What are some of the uh, things that people can expect when they come out here each year? Uh, we got everything from mud and busting to bull riding, roping, and everything in between. Also, we got some great food vendors out here. We got barbecues, we got peanuts, whatever you want. Come on out and eat supper and enjoy the rodeo. This is the Greater Bruton Chamber of Commerce and a whole lot of great sponsors. Well, we got mud and busting going on. That's one of our big draws. Everybody loves the mud and busting. I can't wait to see the kids because the rodeo arena's just a little muddy. It's going to be fun tonight. Here they actually get their little number put on the back, just like the big guys. And uh, we got a buckle, just like the big guys get. They'll get a buckle for the number one rider that stays on the longest. And uh, of course, we got pony rides here for them. We got toys for sale. Don't forget, check out our t-shirts. We got it all. Brooklyn, where are you from? I'm from Foley, Alabama, which is down at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Bruton was at the bottom. No, so y'all a bit further than we are. We're a little bit further. <laughs> Tell me about this uh, position that you have and what does it mean to be in Bruton, Alabama and represent this position? Oh, it's so awesome. So my position is Miss Rodeo Alabama. What I do is I represent the um, PRCA, which is the Pro Rodeo Association, and I uh, represent it for the state of Alabama, which means I get to travel all over the country and I get to give people a little piece of what Sweet Home Alabama is all about. And it's so great to be here tonight because I'm so close to home. I drove an hour and a half to be here. And everybody is just so nice and the hospitality is amazing and I'm having a great time already. This is your first time too, Bruton? Have you been here before? I've been to the town, but I've never been to the rodeo, so this is exciting. I've gone all the way out to Cheyenne, Wyoming, Reno, Nevada, um, Pendleton, Oregon. I went to Oklahoma for one, and in December I'll go to Las Vegas to the NFR to compete for Miss Rodeo America. So I'm going to a lot of places. We are so fortunate to have you here in our little bitty Bruton, Alabama. <laughs> so we're glad to have you here. And uh, I guess uh, we'll be seeing you out in the arena as well. Aren't you going to be out there as far as uh, the mutton busting coming up? I will be out there for the mutton busting, and I will also be carrying the American flag. So, wow. yeah. And, you know, I love coming to rodeos like this. It's little rodeos like Bruton, Alabama, which got me into this. And so it's just so humbling to be able to give a little back. How did you get into this? I mean, everybody has a story of how they got here. How did you get here? Well, the answer is my grandmother. Uh, I used to do what they call Western Pleasure, which is the real slow stuff. And she let me stay long enough one night to watch the barrel racing. And I said, <laughs> I want to go fast. And I just never stopped. I high school rodeoed, I college rodeoed, and I cleaned a little bit in between. And I just got to this point, and this opportunity was presented to me. And I said, I absolutely cannot turn it down. We are so lucky to have you here with us in Bruton, Alabama, Brooklyn Pool, Foley, Alabama, right? Yes, sir. All right, glad to have you. Thank you. So I'm the first team Miss Rodeo Alabama. I went to Las Vegas last year to represent to support our Miss Rodeo Alabama last year, and I'll go again this year to re represent Brooklyn. You say you're the first? Yes, sir. You're the very first one that's yes, ever sir. been. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. That's a little, little bit of pressure. Is it the first time on, on anything? Yes, sir, it is. What can you tell any other young women who are interested in getting into this? What do they need to be looking at trying to participate in this? What does it take? Rodeo queening in and of itself takes a lot of work. We are the face of rodeo, um, so everything you do is monitored by your board, and in reality, you have to keep keep yourself clean. You can't go and be partying at night, do anything that would not be straight laced. This is what you do because that's what you are as representing. You are representing rodeo. You're, so. you're representing rodeo, and you're also representing the state of Alabama. Yes, correct? sir. Sir. Wow, well, that's a lot of responsibility for a young ladies. Yes, sir. Well, we are so happy to have you in Bruton, Alabama. And uh, Georgia Cove and folks right here from Montgomery, Alabama. Glad to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am. As you see, the court got teams from Rodeo, Alabama, Georgia Cove, and Miss Rodeo, Alabama. Brooklyn Pool is the Rodeo, and they will carry the American flag and the Christian flag when we get ready for our openings. Photo lot going on inside the arena right now. Congratulations once again, Braden Blackburn, 85 strong points in the Mustard. Looking away with the buckle now. control because we want to make sure that the little tots get a chance to participate. Thank you to the greatest rodeo fans with the tip of their resist all hats. Cowboys and cowboys, let's ride.
sirve.
representing the Panhandle of Florida. Good looking pattern. What about it? Number three. Can we keep it up? Yes, we can. Hurry up. Here we go. To bring these horses to the radios, to get them all the way to the and ready. The bright lights and the big sounds. Oh, he's pushing. Can you help him out, please? Oh, 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 oh. One, two, and a two, and we're done.
Thank <laughs> you. 